Um, I guess when you talk about the permanent fund dividend, and we're talking about it a little more broadly, you have to talk about it in terms of things that you don't know, um, which are the what would have happened if you hadn't had it, right? right. It's true. And what the it's alternatives the were. And mm -hmm. I always stress that yeah. compared to what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if you think the permanent fund dividend, or the money for the permanent fund dividend, or the money for the permanent fund itself, would have been put into the construction of giant dams in Alaska. Why elephant projects, right? Like, well, maybe some would have you know, brought some lower electricity costs to Alaska, which is a problem here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But on the other hand, they were built way larger than you need because of the hope of stealing away that aluminum production from Brazil, which was mm -hmm. part of the justification offered in the early 80s by the supporters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's that to me is a bad outcome. Sure. Right? right. If um, they had been, um, and a, a lot of the uses of the money that were happening in the early 80s had strong, strongly negative equity effects. 